Hey there, fellow investors. Today's video is all about ETFs, or exchange-traded funds. If you're looking for a way to diversify your portfolio and gain exposure to a wide range of assets, then ETFs might be just the thing for you. So, what exactly are ETFs? An exchange-traded fund, ETF, is an investment fund that is traded on a stock exchange, much like a stock. ETFs hold a basket of assets such as stocks, bonds, commodities, or currencies and offer investors exposure to the performance of the underlying assets. ETFs can be designed to track an index, such as the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ Composite, or a specific sector, such as technology or energy. They can also be designed to provide exposure to a particular strategy, such as dividend income or low volatility. One of the main advantages of ETFs is that they offer investors the ability to diversify their portfolio in a cost-effective and efficient manner. ETFs can be bought and sold throughout the trading day, just like stocks, and they often have lower fees and expenses compared to traditional mutual funds. ETFs can be bought and sold through a brokerage account and investors can purchase as many shares as they want. This allows for easy customization of an investment portfolio, as investors can choose the specific ETFs that match their investment goals and risk tolerance. Some of the key features and benefits of ETFs include Liquidity ETFs can be bought and sold throughout the trading day, providing investors with a high degree of liquidity. Diversification ETFs offer investors exposure to a diversified portfolio of assets, which can help to reduce risk. Low costs, ETFs often have lower fees and expenses compared to traditional mutual funds, making them an attractive option for cost-conscious investors. Tax efficiency, ETFs are generally more tax-efficient than mutual funds, as they typically have lower capital gains distributions. Transparency, ETFs provide investors with transparency into the underlying holdings of the fund, which can help them to better understand their investments. Despite the many benefits of ETFs, there are also some potential drawbacks to consider. For example, some ETFs may have limited liquidity, which can make them difficult to trade at times. Additionally, some ETFs may have higher expenses and fees, which can eat into returns over time. It's important for investors to carefully consider the features and risks of any ETF before investing. Let's compare ETF against bonds and stocks. Comparing ETFs to bonds and stocks is not a straightforward comparison, as each investment has its own unique characteristics and potential benefits and risks. However, I can provide some general information on each investment type to help you make an informed decision. Bonds are debt securities that are issued by corporations or governments. When you buy a bond, you are essentially lending money to the issuer in exchange for regular interest payments and the return of your principal at maturity. Bonds are generally considered to be less risky than stocks, as they typically provide a fixed income stream and are less volatile. However, the potential returns on bonds may be lower than those on stocks, especially in a low interest rate environment. Stocks, on the other hand, represent ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you are buying a share of that company's profits and growth potential. Stocks are generally considered to be riskier than bonds, as their prices can be more volatile and are subject to market fluctuations. However, stocks also have the potential for higher returns over the long term. ETFs, as I mentioned earlier, are investment funds that hold a basket of assets such as stocks, bonds, commodities, or currencies. ETFs can offer investors exposure to a diversified portfolio of assets, which can help to reduce risk. ETFs can be designed to track an index, a specific sector, or a particular strategy, which can allow investors to customize their portfolio and potentially benefit from market trends. ETFs can also offer lower fees and expenses compared to traditional mutual funds. When it comes to which investment is better, it ultimately depends on your individual investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. If you are looking for a fixed income stream and lower risk, bonds may be a better option. If you are looking for growth potential and are willing to accept more risk, stocks may be a better option. ETFs can offer a blend of both, with the potential for diversification and lower fees. It's important to carefully consider the features and risks of each investment, before making a decision. 
Investing in ETFs is relatively straightforward and can be done through a brokerage account. Here are the general steps to invest in an ETF. Open a brokerage account. You'll need to open a brokerage account with a reputable brokerage firm. You can do this online or by visiting a local branch. Fund your account. Once your account is open, you'll need to fund it with cash or other assets. Research ETFs. Do your research and find an ETF that matches your investment goals and risk tolerance. Look at the fund's performance history, fees, and expenses. Place your order. Once you've found an ETF you want to invest in, place your order through your brokerage account. You'll need to specify how many shares you want to buy and at what price. Monitor your investment. After you've purchased your ETF, monitor your investment regularly to ensure it continues to align with your investment goals. It's important to note that ETFs trade on an exchange, so their prices can fluctuate throughout the day based on supply and demand. It's also important to carefully consider the risks and features of any ETF before investing. As always, it's a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or do your own research before making any investment decisions. The length of time you should hold an ETF depends on your investment goals and risk tolerance. Generally speaking, ETFs are a long-term investment that can provide diversified exposure to a particular market or sector. Holding an ETF for the long term can potentially provide you with better returns than short-term trading or frequent buying and selling. If you're investing in ETFs as part of a retirement plan or other long-term financial goal, it's generally recommended to hold them for at least several years, if not decades. This allows you to potentially benefit from the compounding effects of returns over time. However, it's important to remember that ETFs are subject to market fluctuations and risks, just like any other investment. If your investment goals change, or if the market conditions change significantly, it may be appropriate to adjust your investment strategy and potentially sell your ETF holdings. Ultimately, the length of time you should hold an ETF depends on your individual investment goals, risk tolerance, and financial situation. It's important to consult with a financial advisor or do your own research to determine the appropriate investment strategy for your specific situation. And that's a wrap, folks. We've covered a lot of ground today talking about ETFs. From what they are and how they work, to the benefits and risks of investing in them, to how to buy and hold them for the long term. Overall, ETFs can be a great way to diversify your investment portfolio, potentially lower your fees and expenses, and gain exposure to a variety of assets or markets. However, it's important to carefully consider the risks and features of any ETF before investing, and to make sure it aligns with your individual investment goals and risk tolerance. As always, I encourage you to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more investment tips and insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.